Carnarvon Castle, built by Edward I 700 years ago, was to make a noble setting for the Royal National Estateford. And Wales takes pride in the fact that centuries before there was a castle here, Welsh song and poetry already existed. So the ceremonial harks back to the days of the Druids, when outside the Welsh border, culture was rare indeed. The Gorset of Bard saw the Horn of Plenty, born to the Arch-Druid. It showed how splendidly the country's traditions have survived through the ages. Now came the procession to the pavilion on the Astedford ground for the keenly awaited ceremony of crowning the bard. The honour went to the writer of a long poem in free metre on the subject of chains. Tom Hughes was the judge's choice, his poem lauding the now vanishing society of slate quarrymen. Tom Hughes is such a fervent upholder of the Welsh language that he opposes even a royal visit to next year's Astedford. But for the moment, his triumph as the crowned bard was all that mattered. 